Hey everyone, welcome to the video. We're continuing with our series Memorizing the Latin Endings. This episode is from Visual Latin 1, Lessons 3, 4, and 5. In those lessons, I introduced the idea of case. We learned about the nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, and oblative case. The vocative shows up later. We talked last time about declensions. Uh, the Romans divided all nouns into five declensions. I told my students they divided them all into five different boxes. And basically, the rules apply to all five boxes, but the spelling changes. We talked about the first declension nouns last time, and those are the feminine nouns or the nouns that end with A. So we memorized the chant A, 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 Am, A, A, R, M, Is, As, Is. In this episode, we're looking at second declension nouns. Second declension nouns are usually masculine and usually end with U, S in the nominative. For example, if I wanted to say horse in Latin using the classical word for horse, I would say Ecuus, Ecuus, and notice it ends with U-S. All right, then the endings after that are E, O, Um, O, E, Orum, Is, Os, Is. So the entire chant, if you want to memorize it, just mutter the endings to yourself multiple times. Don't do it in public. You'll get odd looks. The entire chant, Us, E, O, Um, O, E, Orum, Is, Os, Is. Say that to yourself over and over again until you've got it down. But what does it all mean? Well, equus means horse. In the genitive, we would drop the U-S, which people all over the world are happy to do. Drop the U-S and replace it with an I. And we would have equi. Now it means of the horse. If we wanted to give something to the horse, let's give some straw to the horse or some water to the horse, we would change the spelling of the word again. And it becomes a quo, a quo. Now we have to the horse. If we saw the horse, or we rode the horse, or we called the horse, the horse then is the direct object. It receives the action. We change the spelling now to a quum, a quum. It receives the action. It's the direct object. So video a quum. I see a horse. Audio a quum. I hear a horse. If we're riding on the horse, we would use the preposition in in Latin and change the spelling of equus now to equo. Now we are riding on the horse. We'll come back to vocative in a minute. We can do the same process again and make the whole thing plural. If there are horses and we're talking about the horses, we could say equi, equi, equi sunt in agro. The horses are in the field, equi sunt in agro, or in better Latin word order, equi in agro sunt. Of the horses, equorum, to the horses, we're giving them something, equis, we're giving all of them straw or water. Video equos, I see horses, or audio equos, I hear horses. Notice the spelling, equum, I hear a horse, changed to equos, I hear horses. And if we're riding on several horses, which, how would that even be possible? I guess if we, as friends, were riding on several horses. Equis. Equis. Okay, and the endings again. Us, e, o, um, o, e, orum, is, os, is. If you're just memorizing the second declension endings, there you go. Now, in the vocative, if we're recalling the horse, and I never add these uh, to memory charts. When I'm telling students memorize these charts, I never add the vocative because it just kind of throws everything off. To change this to or to to call the horse, you want the horse to come over to you. You drop the US and replace it with an E. So if we wanted to say, hey horse, come here. Got some water for you. Eh que. Eh que. Alright, and then over in the plural it's just the same as the nominative equi if you're calling all the horses. Okay, guys, I hope that helped. I hope that helps you in the process of memorizing the Latin endings. Of course, if you want to find out more, I blog and talk about Latin and Greek and its effect on our language every day over at DwayneThomas.com. That's not true. I don't do it on Sunday. But every other day, there I am. And, of course, if you want to see more videos like this, just subscribe on the button down there below. Thanks, guys.